This is the weekly prayer video for Northview United Methodist Church for the week of July the 3rd. I'm Pastor Doug. Our scripture this week is Psalm 30. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and did not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cry to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you brought me up my soul from Sheol and restored me to life from among those gone down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, for his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may linger for the night, but joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you had established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my death? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, so that my soul may praise you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. For those of you watching on social media, please post your joys, concerns, and prayer updates in the comment section below. You can also text, private message, email, or call me with those, and they will be included in our next prayer time. Um, it is a joy to see the celebrations uh, that people have had with friends and family on the July 4th weekend. Um, social media was filled with these, and it was wonderful to just see everybody enjoying time together. For our prayer concerns, uh, Janice Kunzen has been in Lewis Gale Hospital for surgery, and she'll go to Friendship South for rehab soon. Prayers for Janice. Uh, the Samaritan Inn is temporarily closed due to a staffing change. Those of you who normally bring supplies for Samaritan Inn, uh, that will be on hold for a while. We're also praying for them at Samaritan Inn uh, that their staffing situation will be resolved and they'll be able to resume their work for the communities in need soon. Uh, Judy Oppenkar called to let me know that uh, she bumped into her friend Kim with her scooter, and Kim now has broken ribs. A prayer for her friend um, Kim, and also prayers for Judy, um, who feels badly about having been involved in the accident. Also, as we look in the news at all of the different problems people are having who are flying right now, um, I'd like to keep in prayer everybody who works for the airline industry. We're continuing to pray for Ukraine and for the surrounding region, and for any unspoken concerns on your hearts and minds this week. Our prayer is based on our scripture passage from Psalm 30. O Lord, we extol you and worship at your feet this day. We offer thanks for alleviating our pain. Your hand has lifted up those who have been in the pit. Some have been brought back from death's door. For a time we cried in the shadows. Then joy came with the dawning of a new day. Christ's light shined into our darkness. Forgive us for the times we were stubborn and refuse to obey your will. You know when we require a gentle hand or a swift kick to be motivated to follow you. Let nothing prevent us from being your obedient servants. Empathetic God, you know how we feel. Listen to our prayer concerns today. Revive those who have been robbed of their vigor due to sickness. Fill them with joy so they may sing your praises. Turn their mourning into dancing. Speak through us all as we tell others of your restorative love. Hear us now as we pray as you taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, 
and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.